Yo, what's going on guys? It's Brown Hammer here, and in today's video, I am back with another Black Ops 2 mod mini review, and this is the fifth one, I believe, in the series. Um, so, last episode, I asked you guys to comment down below what menu you'd like me to review, and I don't, I don't know, I don't remember if anyone commented, I checked, but I don't think anyone commented, like, a specific one they wanted me to do. So I'm just gonna do one that I see a lot of mod reviews. It's actually a really good menu, but, so here, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, Tell you what, it's Elegance V4. I want there to be a new release of Elegance because some of this stuff is pretty buggy. But I've already got a game set up, so let's go ahead and start it, and I'll get on to explaining with what this menu is. So this menu, I think I'm not sure. I know there's a guy on YouTube named Elegant Elliot, and I think that's the creator of the menu. I'm not sure. There's also a website called Elegance Mods United. You'll see all of like the scrolling text at the bottom of the menu. You'll see the website if you want to check it out or get any more information on this menu but here this is what the menu looks like um so it's simple um l1 and r3 to open the menu and then once you do that you get greeted with the uh, stuff so now if you select on main mods you can go ahead and activate quick mods which do all perks unlimited ammo super legit aimbot and god mode now i've actually been i've played around with just this like quick mods for quite a while because it's pretty fun Hang on a second. Um, the super legit aimbot works really well too. Like this guy coming around the corner. Like you don't have to be way accurate, but you can be pretty close to them. You can even get doubles sometimes if you, if there are two people that are near each other. Like that was horribly, like a terrible shot, but I still got the kill. Right there. Wow, it was weird. Got a double. Um, another one coming up. Oh, one really. Double. Yeah. Okay. So, the quick mods is pretty fun. See, I'm shooting in the complete opposite direction of these dudes, and I am just wrecking all of them. I got to like a hundred kills within like three minutes. That looked legit, even though I know it wasn't. It totally did look legit. Kind of. So, um, one thing I just started out planning was, um, or one thing I'm also going to start hitting shots for was my montage because I know that I'm hitting, I'm really getting close to almost 200 subscribers, which is absolutely crazy given the fact that like a month ago we hit 50. Serious? Like that's so crazy. We've grown three times, like three times that amount in like a month. Like, so if we hit 200 subscribers... Oh my gosh, I would love to host lobbies and everything, but I'm so freaking, I'm stupidly banned that I hate it. Um, another thing, I'm, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get on with the <laughs> review here and stop talking about my problems, but as you can see, I'm switching aimbots right there. Now I'll get to that one in a second, but first, um, if you hit the up arrow on the D-pad, you'll start swapping camos, and you can, that looks really cool, because it does give you the camo, and it looks really cool in like a trick shot if you do that, and then you know, like you hit, and it looks kind of legit like that'd be really nice or you can hit you can actually hit legit trick shots but if you just keep swapping through it it looks really cool because you can you can do uh swaps and everything i'm like button mashing to get all that in there but um so you can do that that's with the up arrow on the d-pad if you hit the down arrow you can turn unfair aimbot on with aiming i mean you have to aim for the unfair aimbot to work it doesn't work without now if you hit the down arrow again it'll work without aiming so you can literally just kill people across the map. Like, you can hold this. You want to see something even crazier? If you go to, like, Shock Charge, you can just keep holding R1 and spamming it, and it'll get you tons of kills. Now, now there's also an Aza aimbot, which is like a trick shot aimbot and a free-for-all aimbot, basically. There are a ton of um, Aza, like, Aza menus for Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3. Like, almost every COD, there's an Aza menu. And I don't know if it if it's all by one guy or if they're all just random menus that have been created. So you could like, you know how easy it would be to, okay, <laughs> I'm totally not suggesting this if you're trying to go for a montage. But you know how easy it would be to fake a montage? Like it's seriously not even hard at all. It's like you could sit here and just be kind of on point with this aimbot. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and open the menu. I'm going to get down here really quick. I'll open back up the menu and I will... Go through the rest. Okay, so now under main mods, you have quick mods, god mode, infinite ammo, which this is all set usually by quick mods. Um, 
You've got speed two, which is all I love messing with speed stuff. You have advanced no clip, where you can do um. Here, I'll go ahead and show you that. Advanced no clip. You basically push. You basically push R two, and you can start going around the map and stuff. And then you can you know stop and you'll fall, but you can keep doing it. Now I think you can get on. Yeah, you can get on things, which is cool. Does that mean you could? How often do you see a trick shot from like way up here? You don't because I'm stuck on the barrier. There is a disabled death barrier thing that I just haven't done yet, but basically after um. Yeah, you know, you can do that. I say, I've said basically a few times, but you can do that. Um, next, you have, after advancing the cliff, you have this, which I don't really, oh, my bad. I'm an idiot. This is unlimited kill streaks. You can clone yourself, which creates a clone that, for some reason, always has its feet up. Oh, no, they're good. Okay. Yeah, but you can just sit here and keep spamming clones so people won't know who you are unless you just keep running. You can set all perks which is set by quick mods. You can do always UAV which is also enabled by quick mods. A lot of this is done by quick mods. You can do ESP wall hack which is green boxes or red boxes. Then when you see them it's green. Uh, you can change class to any of your custom classes. You can change team. You can do an auto drop shot so it automatically drops you if you miss but I don't ever miss so turn it off you can teleport around the map let's go ahead and teleport to here right into the boat perfect teleport right there here we go all right you can do the sky set it to sunny which i think looks nice especially on this car or on um hijack not carrier you can kill yourself and you can do a dead clone i like dropping the dead clones because that looks really funny so that's all for the um main mods under message menu you can basically Close the menu on accident. Under message menu, you can do host, um, Elegance United, which is the website I was talking about. Elegance Mods, which I'm pretty sure is this thing. Ripped Robbie, who uses this menu a ton. Clash of Clans, yes, no, yes, no. Optic Mods, Creator is God. Bad word. All you got. You're not cool. Thinks he's cool. Stop talking. Kick and D rank. <laughs> Trick shot last. FNX plays and Elegant Elliot, which I'm pretty sure I'm I'm gonna feel su like super stupid because I know, like for a fact, he's a creator, and I just I've said that I don't think he is. But yeah, you can see all the text flashing up here in the top, going through, um, behind all the medals. Next, you have a visions menu where you can just enable different visions, different visions. All right, I don't know how to turn them all off. Normal off, EMP off, black and white off, light off, enhanced off. I like enhanced, that looks nice. Enhanced light off. Enhanced vision actually looks really nice, so I'm going to leave that on. Um, after visions, you have kill streaks. We can give yourself any kill streak. I'm not going to go through all that because that's just a lot. Next, you have a model menu where you can go into third person, you can do default. If you go into third person, oh my bad, debug. <laughs> As you can see, you are the debug model. Then you can go ahead and do, you can do dog, delete model, hunter killer, trophy system, assault drone. You can do all of these and it's pretty funny. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and become default. Oh wow, I don't know why my FOV is all set weird. Next, you have um, a weapon menu where you can basically give random weapons, camos. You can change. You can have it set to random camos. Uh, let me go and do gold. Um. Oh, okay. Hang on a second. I think I know why it's like that. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't play. I haven't played with this menu a lot. But. Why did I just go to Hunter Killer? There we go. Okay. I fixed that. Alright. Now, uh, I was under weapons menu. You can do random weapons, camos, death guns. You can even give yourself the um, Peacekeeper, which is a DLC weapon, which is kind of cool that you can give yourself that. 
and the aimbot works pretty well because you, you can't like kill everyone across the map but you can pretty much kill anyone you, you're basically <laughs> you basically have to be okay at the game in order to use the same bot unless you turn the unfair aimbot on then you can just sit there and wreck everyone which I'm not gonna do um next you have a bullet menu he's not sorry about that um next you have a bullet menu which I was just under I'm pretty sure you can do effect bullet real dog bullets real dogs off EMP modded bullets special bullets and spawn bullets special bullets I like because I like shooting combat axes so yes you actually shoot combat axes as you can see them flying off the map and stuff you can get all these freaking tomahawk quad feeds and stuff like that <laughs> it's just crazy it's a ton of fun to sit here and just shoot I'm gonna shoot him oh wow no I'm not I'm gonna crash instead um that's not it for the menu I'm gonna go ahead and load back into it so if you guys don't know there's actually a variable set by COD that where you basically can't have too many tomahawks on the map and if you do it um it doesn't work all right not that it not that it doesn't work but it um oh my god what am I doing I'm doing all this wrong it'll crash like it'll just recognize that there's too much for the game to handle so it won't let you do anything I guess Does that makes sense I don't know you can have a maximum amount of entities on the map I think yeah and um I'm gonna reset all of this and I'll get back into the review uh, so that was modded bullets I'm gonna go to the next new part of it which I honestly don't remember kind of tired I had uh, I had school all last week and then I had DCI I didn't have DCI I went to DCI over the weekend with uh, my girlfriend and a few friends and then uh, you know we just kind of hung out Sunday just for like a relaxing day so yeah if you guys don't know what DCI is it's really cool it's a drum corps international and it's a lot of fun I'm not gonna talk about it because that's not this video so I was under bullets menu all right I'm gonna go to forge now now you can go to forge and you can spawn you can do advanced for forge mode spawnables menu where you can spawn the stairway to heaven which is a very very long stairway I think it's actually gonna keep going through yeah you can do the bunker some of this stuff is actually like crazily heavily glitched um, I'll show you some of it I'll show you the merry-go-round and the spiral staircase so there's the merry-go-round. You can ride it, and I will in a second. Now, if you staircase, oh wow, I didn't know it would spawn where I was looking. Okay, I'll go ahead and go on it just to you know ease some of you because I know a lot of people are like thinking, what what can you do with that? I think it just keeps going. You know what? I'm pretty positive I have to stop that. I'm gonna stop that. Oh no, I don't. Okay. It just it goes okay that's cool here let's hop on the merry-go-round so you just walk up to him push square and now you're on the merry-go-round I don't know if you can get kills on here or not my gun looks super glitchy I can crash again so yeah like I said some of this stuff is extremely buggy and glitchy but that's okay I know I was under the spawnables menu this time so I can go ahead and hop back into it I'm just gonna set up bots I'm not gonna set a time limit because I should be good. I also need to edit game rules. I need to change the score limit and the custom classes. So one thing I'd like to talk about while this is all loading in is um, I really, really, really like you guys interacting with my videos and commenting on them. Now, yes, some of the comments are calling me stupid and stuff, but I don't care about that. Um, on one of my videos, my old videos, like my, uh, my first G Fuel unboxing or whatever, People thought that the address that they saw was my address when it's actually the address of Gamma Labs, like the company, because I'm pretty smart and I tape over all of my addresses or scratch them out. But um, I don't know, I, I was kind of laughing at that for a few days because of how funny I thought that was. Uh, so yeah, I would never give my address out. I'm pretty smart and I know what I can do and what to do. So yeah. <coughs> But thank you guys for commenting. It's really helpful. And if you want to comment on this video and drop a like and hit subscribe, 
you can uh, you can comment and tell me a cool mod menu that you've always wanted to like see more in depth. And like if you if you're not a modder and you uh, you watch some people play with mods a lot, but you've like you never modded and you don't know and you see people use like a certain menu. If you want to know what that is, let me know and I will totally do reviewing it. If you guys don't give me a menu to review or if there's not one specified that you guys don't want to see, I think I might be uh, might do the jiggy menu next because I've kind of wanted to do that one for a while. But let's go ahead and keep getting on with this review. So for um, after the spawnable or the forge menu, you have the aimbots menu where you can do all of this stuff. You can save and load, trick shot, starter pack, and all that. This is cool because it literally spawns a platform custom to the map that you're on. So since hijacked is way down there, I wonder if I can hit a tomahawk. I bet if I just keep spamming, I can. Oh, there's a spawn right there. So if I keep, like... You guys think I'll hit? I think I'll hit. I know they're all going to end up coming to the side because they're going to, like, notice that I'm, like, way over here. Oh! Okay. I didn't hit. Guys, I didn't hit. I'm... Kind of stupid, but let's go, let's go to teleport. I'm not stupid. I'm not going to call myself stupid. That's mean to myself. I don't know. I'm having a weird day today, guys. It's been pretty good, actually. See, under this menu, you can spawn trickshot starter pack or spawn trickshot steps. <coughs> trickshot steps basically are just a set of stairs that you can walk up to. And, heck, actually, this is perfectly set up to do a suey. But I have death barriers on. I'm going to get to a camo I like really quick. It just gave me that same camo three times. There we go. Okay, I have death barriers on. I don't like that. I think that's under... Let's go ahead and just hop over to game settings menu and you can disable death barrier. Which didn't do what I thought it did. Okay, I'll get into that uh, menu in a second. So after the aimbots menu, you can do a fun menu where you have human centipede, which looks really cool. <clears throat> it's basically a trail of your guy like a few seconds behind you. You can do pro mod, which I'm pretty sure most of you have seen. It's just like FOV. You can do Riot Man, <laughs> which is funny. You can do Electric Man, which I'm going to leave that on, and Light Man. I'm not going to leave Terrorist, or do Terror. Well, okay, I did Terrorist. Oh my gosh, I couldn't turn Terrorist off. Wow. Wait, did I not have God Mode enabled? I did. Quick mod set. Quick mods. Wow, it turned. A, what the heck? This is so weird. Okay, something's like messed up, but that's fine. Um, let's keep going to fun menu. You can do a few of these things like spec nade, jetpack, <clears throat> tea bag, and all that. You can do an earthquake. I know it takes a second to go off. Or I, do I have to shut it off? I don't know if I have to shut it off or if it does stop. It looks like it's stopping. It stops. Okay. You can do force field, which is also fun to play around with. <laughs> you see, you can push them away. I don't know if it works on other objects, because I don't know anything else that can move like that. Does the tomahawk go away from me? No, the tomahawk doesn't. Okay. Yeah, but look, it's kind of funny, because you can just line them all up, and then... Boom. Wreck them all one by one. Oh my god, did you see that guy go flying? Holy crap. I just realized I hit a few shots legit. Uh, I'm going to turn force field off. So, yeah. You can do human torch, exorcist mod. Pick up a player. Um. Yep, you can pick people up. Turn that off. Most of this stuff is actually self-explanatory. But it's all pretty cool. Um, after fun menu, you have modded weapons that you can give yourself, like rocket teleporter, teleport gun. Obviously, my favorite one, the ray gun Mark II. These are all very, very kind of scary because they can all crash. But lightning thunder is cool because it shoots this. You see this lightning that's coming off my back? It shoots that. So it's like purgatory inferno. Inferno. I can't say anything. That looks cool. Um, default gun, no freeze. Huh? 
Um, let's do regular ray gun, which is just the... Oh, I forgot the name of this gun for some reason. The I forgot the name of the weapon. I don't know why I cannot remember this name. Oh well, that's gonna come to me in a second. But yeah, that's a lot of the of the um modded weapons. And in the admin menu, you can do pokeballs, all this crazy stuff. And like I said, most of it is working. Like all of it is basically working, but some of it isn't. So, um, the executioner—that's the name of the gun. Okay, but. Some of this stuff does cause you to crash and freeze, so I wouldn't recommend it, especially if you're online, it can really cause that to freeze too. Now under game settings, you can do hear everyone, disable death barrier, gravity mod, moon gravity, super jump, and this is all for like everyone, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it looks like it is. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to assume it is. You can do moon speed, set time scale, big XP, which basically gives you a ton of XP per kill, I think. Oh no, you have to disable, or you have to do something for that. You can do anti-quit where they can't quit. You can, they have its own bots menu where you can spawn a certain amount of bots. Um, go and do unlimited game. You can end the game, knock back lobby, melee range, melee range, flash feed, and rapid fire. I don't know. I don't know how rapid fire works. I don't think it does for this gun, but the flash feed looks really cool, and I, yeah. So if I go and get a few kills here, you can see that it's just flashing in the feed right there. In the kill feed. Uh, next, you have a player menu where you can give host and all of that. Um, you can also kick them. Here, I'll show you. You can verify VIP, kick and verify freeze, god mode, teleport to them, teleport them to me, take weapon, kick player, ban player, kill player, player to dog, fake derank them, and mess with their aim. And then you can uh, change to his team, give him perks, give him streaks, give trickshot aimbot. Give legit aimbot, give evil dog, modded fly RPG, give ray gun, give ray gun R2, and give light man. Wow, that was a mouthful. Um, trying to wrap it up because this video is kind of long. <laughs> Next, you have um, an all players menu. We can give all menu or normal menu, fun mod. Here, you can kick them all, god mode all of them, freeze them all, infinite ammo. Do all of this. You can do fun mods. We can do trick shot plate, all trick shot aimbot, zombie invasion. Terrorist, Hunter mod, Build mod, give all it, give Adventure time. I don't know. It's really cool. Um, you can do all of this stuff to every player. Then you just have a Force host menu. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and this, but I do have to go because I have some homework I gotta finish. And uh, I'm trying to be a better kid this year than I was last year because I was I did really bad my freshman year. I was horrible a bad year for me i mean i met a few i met a, real, a lot of really cool and helpful people but i didn't do too good in school so i'm gonna have to start getting better at that because then i'll have a lot more free time on my hands to do this sorry if this video also seemed rushed and i, I flew through a lot of the stuff um i don't know this is just a really fun menu i would totally recommend this especially if you're a modder um and if you're not a modder and you have a, like a modder friend then you could probably get them to co-host you with this. And trust me, guys, I'm going to try and figure out how to get back online sometime. Or do something where I can at least get more involved with you guys. Because as of now, this PlayStation is pretty much done for... I mean, I can stop. Obviously, I'm still using it. I'm, this is still my main PlayStation. I love this thing to death. I don't care about the fact that it's offline, but... I mean, it's not offline. It's just I can't sign into anything. Which kind of is annoying. But I'm totally okay with. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you didn't, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and comment on any other menu you'd like me to see. Also, if you have any like like particular video that you want to see me do a review on, it doesn't matter what it is. It can be like a an unboxing of some sort or something like that. I don't know. Any anything you guys want me to do, comment and I will do it. Um, another thing I'd like to do is I would like you guys to go check out my Minecraft Let's Play series. It's uh, back to the basics. I have the 11th or 12th video. I don't know. One of them was just uploaded like last week. So um, yeah, if you guys wouldn't mind go checking that out and maybe starting like following along on the series, that'd be great because I need some help in there because I don't really know what to build or what to do anymore. I'm starting. Well, I have a few things planned, but yeah. So hope you enjoyed. If you did, do not forget to hit that thumbs up and thank you guys so much for 180 subscribers. On I don't know my YouTube or my uh. Real-time subscriber counter is kind of frozen at something. 
it's not really frozen, but my internet's messed up. That's also why I haven't been able to upload, because my internet, I'm having internet problems. But now I've fixed them, I think. Just can't get on a few websites for some reason. Still fixing it, but anyways, thank you guys again so much. And uh, yeah, it's been a great, great video. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to do what I've said at least five times already in the past two minutes. Drop a like, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one.